In the last video, we worked on blemish removal, and now we'll do a little skin softening. I'm going to use a very, very light hand because I don't want to make her plastic looking. She already has beautiful skin, and I don't want to affect the texture. So I'm just going to basically show you how this works. So we're going to use the um, adjustment tool here on the far right. And there is a preset for this. So first of all, I'm going to double click on effects to reset all of the sliders. And then I'm going to go to the soften skin preset. And the, uh, the default is minus 100 clarity, which is pretty strong. So right away, I'm just going to back off on that. And um, I'm also going to use, I'll leave the sharpness at 25. And I'm also going to adjust the density and the flow. Let's Right now, it's at 74%. I'm going to just start at 100%. You, by reducing the density and flow, it's a softer effect. But I'm just right now, I'm going to push it all the way up to 100 and then use these sliders if I want to back off on how much, um, how much I want of the effect. And then I'm going to click on Show selected mask overlay down here at the bottom so that I can see where I'm painting. And then I'm just going to start brushing over her skin. And you can adjust the size of your tool just by using the wheel on your mouse or else hitting the right or the left bracket key on your keypad. And I'm just going to grow it to paint over her face here. And you want to be careful, you don't want to paint over the lips or the eyes or the eyebrows. So we'll just quickly go through here. And if you happen to make a mistake, say you accidentally painted over the eye, just hit the Alt key and then you, it, your tool turns into a minus and then that will take away. So that will remove where you accidentally painted over. So that looks pretty good. Just get around her mouth a little bit. And then I'm going to remove the show selected mask overlay. And that's what we have right now. And you can see the difference by clicking on this little bar down here at the bottom. We can turn off the effect and we can look and see uh, how we've done. It's not a huge effect. I didn't want it to be in too, too intense, so let's make her bigger. And that, let's look at her skin. And so we can still see hair here. We can still see some texture. So you want to be very careful that you don't, um, you know, that you don't overdo it. Use a light hand and adjust these sliders. Uh, I would never go all the way to minus 100 because it's just too harsh and it looks too unnatural. So especially if you have an older person and who has more wrinkles, you basically want to just soften the skin and keep the texture. You don't want to make them look like having that photoshopped plastic effect. So that's basically it. Hi, I'm Valerie Getch. Do too many of your family photos look like this or like this? How would you like your photos to look more like this or maybe this? My new Taking Family Portraits Like a Pro online video course for beginners will show you how to take your photos from blah to amazing and you don't need a bunch of expensive equipment. I'll show you how to choose the right lens, give you tips on lighting, posing, backgrounds and camera settings to capture beautiful portraits. And then I'll show you how to enhance your photos using Adobe Lightroom. Click here to learn more and get a coupon for special savings.